manhunt is underway for a suspect who set two ballot boxes on fire early Monday in the neighboring Pacific Northwest cities of Portland, Oregon, and Vancouver, Washington, burning hundreds of ballots. After local police warned that there may be additional attacks across the area, some residents decided to vote in person instead. There's a reason that there's mail-in voting, and now it's kind of changed where I have to be really concerned about the delivery of the, the my vote. It's people's right and civic duty to vote, and it just it broke my heart to see people's um, ability to say that have their voice be out there um, ruined. Robert Moore, whose ballot was burned in the Dropbox fire in Vancouver, says he intends to resubmit his ballot. But the incident has him wonder, what's next? Who plants incendiary devices in, in ballot drop boxes? Who does that? I think that they're trying to set up the civil unrest condition in this country. As election officials in Clark County, Washington, make sure the affected voters get a replacement ballot, additional security measures have been put in place. We are now um, retrieving ballots from the ballot drop boxes every evening. Uh, we're encouraging voters to put their ballot in drop boxes before 5.30 every night. Uh, we're also very pleased that our, our law enforcement partners are increasing their presence in the ballot drop boxes. Greg Kimsey says that in his 26 years as Clark County Auditor and two decades working with unstaffed ballot boxes, he never expected to see ballots on fire, scraped out with a hoe. It's heartbreaking. It's a direct attack on democracy. I think voters who uh, see this happening are more motivated to participate in the process because we're not going to let those uh, uh, evildoers um, have, to have any impact on this process. On the East Coast, in the swing state of North Carolina, voters and election officials face challenges following massive flooding brought by Hurricane Helene, including the loss of identity documents needed to vote. I checked someone in the other day whose uh, house had flooded, did not have a license, and so there's a special form for them to do a provisional vote, but when that's the reason, they know that their vote will get counted. With tens of thousands of residents displaced and some polling stations closed or relocated, officials urged North Carolina residents to cast their votes early, and nearly 40% of registered voters have done that. I think specifically for us with the aftermath of Hurricane Helene having to rebuild with the possibility of having so many people dispersed because of the natural disaster, it feels even more important to me. With the polls showing a razor-thin edge between the presidential candidates in North Carolina, Choi, like many other voters, feels the stakes are too high to skip casting a ballot. With Deborah Bloom in Vancouver, Washington, and Rafael Sarkov in Asheville, North Carolina, Natasha Mosgovaya, VOA News.